Hi, I'm Max Kalker, and I'm a senior research fellow at the American Institute for Economic Research. Um, and today we're going to use our old friends, supply and demand curves, to talk about the market for fixing clocks. If you have old mechanical clocks in your house, at some point they're going to break. At that point, you have to decide whether you want to pay the prevailing price in the market to fix the clock. supply and we've got our demand. Now what would happen normally in a market is we would get to the market clearing price, right? Where clock fixers supplying it have found the price where people demanding it um, are essentially in order, line up, right? And so there's not an excess supply to many people wanting to fix clocks or excess demand too many people who want their clocks fixed. Now what's going on in the market for clocks is there's this culture that the people who fix clocks have and they say, we're not in it for the money. And they say, oh, this price is too high. We can't charge this price. So in a way, just like a government imposing a price control, they say on their own, this is the fair price. This is the price we're gonna charge. So what happens is instead of this many people demanding their services, this many people demand their services, a lot more. But how many people are really willing to supply them at the prevailing price? Over here. So you have all these extra people who want their clocks fixed, and now in the market for fixing something rather than the market for selling a new product, what's gonna happen there? The wait time is gonna be really long. So um, say you're someone who wants to get um, a clock fixed and you're told you have to wait eight months. Given the fact that we have this cultural constraint, it's probably the case that that wait time is indicative of excess demand. And what about the dead weight loss? Ah, so um, in our model, usually if we're at the market clearing price, we call that Pareto optimal. This is consumer surplus. This is, oh, I would be willing to pay this, but I only have to pay this, so I'm better off. And this is producer surplus here, the profit. What happens is, at this price, the consumers who actually get the service are actually even better off, but all of these people over, but, but the producers get a lot less, and these folks over here who never get their service, that's called dead weight loss, and a little simple geometry would tell us that this area is bigger than this area. Well, in fact, just taking out that triangle. So there we go. What is the way to fix the market? That is a really tough question here because it's not just the matter of the government is imposing this price control and they're wrong to do it, so the government should stop. Um, the way to fix, so we, we, we can't force people to charge a price they don't want to charge. So, you're pushing me here. So, um, I think what needs to happen over time is um, the people who fix clocks need to assess and sort of reevaluate some of this culture that may have evolved back at a point in time where this was somehow helpful to their industry, but now it's become this maladaptive trait. Thank you, Max Gulker. Thank you.